Hey guys, Leaf here, uh, back to talk to you guys more about uh, Fire Emblem Heroes again. And um, probably can't tell by the tone of my voice, but I'm actually quite hyped. So uh, last night the Fire Emblem Heroes Twitter dropped some pretty significant update announcements uh, that will come into effect in April. So um, I'm just going to go over the uh, details a little bit while this recording of me doing a sketch of Azura plays out in the uh, background. So anyways, uh, first off, we will be able to uh, rearrange our units starting positions at the start of each game and um, man that's just going to be really helpful on the strategic side of things. So uh, no more uh, sort of 50-50 coin tosses where you try to guess what you know, most arena match lineups and stuff would be where and where they might be positioned and on what maps and whatnot. Like for example, I would always put my blue units on the far left slot just because uh, there's a time in the arena when a lot of the defending teams would have a red unit on the far left. And uh, yeah, there's also been times where I put like melee units in the middle of the map, well, in the middle of my lineup just in case I rolled into that uh, two walls on either side of the map kind of map. Uh, well, let's say like the lava map. I mean, if that was in the season kind of lineup, then I'd have to sort of take that into account and sort of have my lineup, uh, you know, my guys positioned perfectly in the lineup just so I could get that first turn uh, movement advantage thing. Now, while those do sometimes work out, it's still a little bit unfair because, um, you know, depending on the map and depending on the uh, defending team's unit positioning, one setup might, you know, might might work for one fight, but the other, but um, in any other fights, might just get screwed. Like I realize this can still be the case because of there being different units and such, but you know, it just lessens the uh, unfair spawns a little bit. Uh, just so you get less cheap deaths because um, maybe your counter units were too far to one side of the map for example. Um, anyways, that's one change I'm really looking forward to. The other change uh, is the stamina cap. That's going to be increased to a whopping 99 instead of the current 50. Which is, uh, needless to say, it's pretty amazing. I mean currently it takes 4 hours to fully charge your uh, stamina from empty to full. But with this new cap, it will take 8 hours or so. Which means you won't be wasting as much stamina while you sleep. I mean if you play it hard out. Uh, which if you're constantly using to kind of grind SP with, which is kind of the new thing now because uh, with the skill inheritance, SPs man, it's pretty, uh, you know, I'm in dire need of more SP, so I've been SP grinding non-stop with just taking up all my stamina. Uh, yeah, it's definitely pretty cool and it definitely helps make the game a little bit more readily available to play when you have the time. And definitely allows free to play players to play for longer bursts as well. Uh, stamina potions will also be changed so that they refill the uh, full amount of stamina. So that is very sensible, I mean. I'd be pretty fucking annoyed if they only uh, refilled like the uh, 50 and then it's like oh you gotta do like two potions to refill the full bar. That would be pretty bullshit, I'd be pretty pissed. But um, yeah seeing as how you know rare the uh, stamina potion seems to be at some point anyways, uh, it's definitely a, uh, a welcome change. I, I would say that if they didn't do this it, it would be pretty bullshit, so of course they did it. Uh, which is good. Uh, so the last change that they've announced is the uh, that the l lower star rank characters they will sort of uh, receive more EXP. Uh, basically, the lower star rank characters, the more EXP they'll get after combat, and so will probably, you know, end up leveling just about as fast. I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, this sounds pr like it's pretty uh, strange and weird at first to me, but actually if you think about it, it p makes perfect sense. Because um, high star rank characters basically have those better stats, 
which allow them to be killing foes much faster to begin with. And if you're doing that, then uh, you're killing units at a faster rate, so you, you're getting that EXP really quickly anyways. Um, you know, you don't have that luxury with lower star rank characters who might just be dealing uh, two-thirds of what your five-star rank characters' uh, damage output is. Plus, they uh, die much easier as well, so, you know, like, it's it's kind of balances the game out a little bit, in my opinion. And, yeah, so it's, it sounds, at first it sounded like, oh, okay, so your lower star rank characters will um, level faster, but no, it's not the case, because um, your five star guy might just kill one guy and might just do one hit on one guy and KO him. Whereas your lower star rank guy might have to do two hits and he's got to risk dying as well. So, you know, it balances out basically. Um, anyways, uh, there's also on the side there uh, a whole arena balance change incoming next month, which I'm pretty sure by now you guys will, uh, are pretty well versed in that. It's basically trying to balance out the odds a little bit since the uh, skill inheritance update sort of broke the current matchmaking system, I believe. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a fun one, guys. Uh, lots of updates coming next month. So um, yeah, coming in April, which is really, really cool. I'm definitely uh, pretty happy about this, pretty hyped. Um, but yeah, so that being said, uh, that's all there is to the update stuff that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I highly doubt that all of this kind of syncs up with the duration of the sketch video that I've put on. But um, I'm just going to leave you guys with the sketch video that I have playing in the background. And music as well. Uh, just for those of you who are interested in watching me do my sketching and all that stuff. Um, I do end up finishing the line art, but I don't quite finish uh, the coloring start stuff. Um, I kind of start on that, but I'll probably... Um, look to finish the coloring stuff on some separate video um, if you guys enjoyed or whatever. Anyways, um, thanks for watching and um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the sketch video without me talking. And um, that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one.